hello and welcome back to my channel um in this video today i just want to address something quickly it's going to be like a quick one um honestly i've decided for some reason not to pay too much attention to this um yule dochi and his second wife saga i mean he's been in the news for quite a while now and for those of you who do not know yule dochi is a popular nigerian actor and um, who was married for I think about 17 years and then sometime in May he came out and uh, publicly announced that he had a child by somebody who was apparently his child his side chick and then not just that he had a child but he secretly got married to this lady in fact the way the news had it was that he got married to this woman on Sunday and he posted it on on, on Monday on his Instagram page that he just um, that he had a child from his second wife and his wife got to know about it just like everyone else so apparently he was dating he was having an extramarital he was into an adulterous relationship um, with another with a colleague of his he's an actor and then they were having an affair that affair produced the child and then one thing within another he got married to this woman everything happened without his wife knowing it so when this whole thing happened there was a, an outcry of course um unexpectedly there was an outcry from the public from the fans one because this guy is somebody that everybody loves so much i personally love him i love to watch his movies even up until today respective of what he did i still love he, his movies and he's a very great actor and his father is also a veteran actor that everybody loved so much a lot of people love him you know and the person of um pete edochie so um, fast forward to and uh, when this whole thing happened with this is new wife saga a lot happened a lot started happening we began to see this new second wife first of all when the whole thing happened to his first wife maybe because we still refer to her as a fourth wife, his first wife because we believe they're still married even though they say that the lady i believe oil is not well with them there's speculations that she filed for divorce until we see that the divorce is completed if there's anything like that we still refer to her as his first wife so apparently he has this first wife may edochi and he has this um side chick converted to wife you judy austin so when this whole thing happened you know there's a, there was a loud cry by a lot of people people of people were disappointed a lot of people felt bad personally for me i did not just feel i did not feel bad because he happened to marry this girl. look we we are africans we know that people do that all the time a lot of people married uh, two wives in my family where i come from we're married to where i, I, I was born a lot of people who have <clears throat> more than one wives they married two wives but personally for me the reason why i joined my voice to you know condemn what happened was not just because he got married to a second woman but because of the manner in which it was done i mean it's so disrespectful enough that you are having an affair outside your marriage then it makes it so worse that you wake up one morning and decide to marry that person without your wife knowing about it apparently trying to force your wife into polygamy without her being prepared for it she was completely thrown um <clears throat> thrown into this confusion so to say i mean it's like and it seems as if he was trying to force it down her throat that she must accept this other second wife not just that but from the moment that the whole thing made, was made public, the, the second wife, for everybody that started following her, on, started seeing her on Instagram, she did, she's doing everything. I don't want to say did because she's still doing. Doing everything as if she intentionally wants to, you know, hurt this woman the more, wants to, she began to shade her, so to say. She began to, you know, do a lot of things to, I mean, disrespect her, to insult her indirectly she's been doing a lot of things as if she's trying to throw sh uh, throw shades at those first wife it's very very apparent it's very it's very very obvious the people that have been following these people's story that is one of the things that even got me angry the more it's like it's worse it's bad enough that you did this to this woman you were sleeping with her husband you got pregnant for her husband whatever you guys had the conversation with you decided to come in as, as, as the second wife you apparently you know invariably destroyed this beautiful home and you are still on top of the whole thing you know adding salt to injury by you know throwing shades at her making up some 
you know, there was one time she made up one silly story, uh, talking, telling a story about a woman whose husband got married, who was not taking care of the home, and uh, eventually her husband married another woman, and she she's trying to ask her for people that cares to listen to her stupid story, like what do people think about this woman? Now the woman is crying that her husband married that another wife and asking how dare you? You know, you know, when I listen to that story, I feel that she is indirectly talking to the first wife, trying to make the world believe that the world, the first wife was not doing what she was supposed to do, and the husband decided to take a second wife. So she's trying to tell us that she's going to be a better wife to this man. You know, a lot has happened. She's been doing her own thing on one side. Um, the Yule Doche himself has been doing his own thing on the other side. With all these things that are happening, the first wife has remained as matured. Oh my God, I respect that lady so much. She has remained as calm as can be. She has remained as matured as can, as can be. She has remained as um, as um, focused as can be. You know, she's been doing her thing. And it happens that the whole, since this whole thing happened, you know, we began to see more of her it's like she she became more um more outgoing i wouldn't want to say that she's not been outgoing before but i think this period is like she's been more outgoing and been doing things that she was not able to do by herself before because apparently it seems like she's been this kind of laid back kind of wife who has been trying to be a good wife a supporter only goes out with her husband and stuff like that anyway that is not even the purpose of this um video the main purpose that i'm making this video is to address something that came as a result of this particular issue that has to do with one of the veteran um nollywood actors in the person of larry Coswet. this larry Coswet is an elderly man he's an old man supposedly that young people should be looking up onto for advice for wisdom and for some sense that this man made a comment that I felt like was so disappointing of a man of his age. But hey, what can you say? What can you, um, what else do you expect? That, you know, there's this popular saying that best of a feather actually flock together. From the way that man spoke, you will understand that that man must have done worse than what you, Ledoche, did. So apparently that, uh, you know, there's this video about him. I think they were on location where he was with making jokes with some, uh, some little kids, which I feel was silly of a man of his age. I mean, it was so disappointing, so disgusting to me. And while they were making, you know, the, this Yule Doche walked in and he started, you know, giving him all these accolades, calling him all these names. There and then immediately he started talking about this, his second wife issue, he was trying to tell him how he's been, you know, started insulting everybody that has been saying something against the action that he took uh, um, about his, um, um, he took against his first wife, you know. Apparently, he's trying to tell, make this. It's like, you know, it's just like a situation where somebody is trying to tell you, see, I've been fighting for you concerning this thing. Don't mind all those people that have been insulting you because you took a second. Wife. Don't mind them. I've been telling them that they are that they don't have say. You know, I've been fighting your case. It's like trying to. Maybe he thought he was trying to. Um, he was going to make you feel good by telling him that look, I've been fighting for you concerning this issue. Don't mind them. I'm here for you. Another you know, kind of. Thing. that's just what i got from his voice and in fact in the process of doing the whole thing he actually mentioned a name of an actress in the person of um anita one um uh, miss anita and i think that and it i do not really followed much about that but from what i understand i think that anita has been one of the people <clears throat> that has been that has vocally condemned what you the Duce did and for some reason probably has been very um, vocal and supportive of the first wife of what this of course who wouldn't be for me as a wife as a mother who have gone through a lot with my husband i i support i am 100 percent behind me because i cannot support what is wrong because if it's done to me i don't know how i'll feel so he apparently called that particular anita out you know anita joseph and was trying to insult the lady, his, his, whatever he was saying. And there was one particular thing he said that, that really caught me, you know. And he said, he told uh, Mule, he said, don't mind your first wife. She, she doesn't want to stay, she can leave. And I want to believe that when he made that comment, you did not see that coming. You did not see that particular comment coming, you know. And that is the main reason why I want to just, I want, I'm just going to say something briefly on that. He did not see that coming. And when he said that, you was, uh, you will see it in his countenance that he was taken aback by that particular comment. He said, no, 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 she's not going to go. We are trying to calm her down. 
And then that brings me to what I'm going to say here, you know. Um, when you decide to make your life a laughing stock, my people have a proverb they say when you fetch a fire um, ant infested firewood, you are apparently calling the lizards to, you know, come and feast in your compound, if you understand what I mean. So this man, you brought this particular issue about from the like i said from the moment this whole thing happened his activities and the activities of his second wife on the uh, on, on the social media space had you know apparently showed to the people and even for me made me believe that this you does not have any respect he does not have no respect he does not have no love apparently that one is not there because if you love your wife you will not go and cheat on her does not have no love does not have no respect does not have no honor for his wife for his marriage so uh, because of the way he has been doing the whole thing now everybody can open up open their mouth and say anything and that is why that man was so bold to tell him oh don't mind them people who don't want to uh, you know i've been i've been telling people in fact i even posted a picture of that your son and people were making comments and i was insulting them if your first wife don't want to say she can go i'm like what did he just say <laughs> did he just say that and like i said I'm sure you did not see that coming. But that's what's happened when you decide to make yourself a laughing stock. The people like like uh, um, Larry Coleswet, an old man without a brain, can come up and say whatever they want to say to you and to your family and to your wife. If you does not know, that particular comment that Larry Coleswet made is a direct insult on him not just to his wife me it is a direct insult to him because i always tell people if anybody insults my husband you are insulting me if anybody insults me that person is insulting my husband if my husband does not realize it that the insult directed to me is an insult to him that means he does not understand what marriage is all about that means he does not have respect for the marriage that man apparently insulted you and insulted you's wife if not, how can you tell me that somebody can boldly, confidently talk to you like that about your wife in the public? Telling you that if your first wife don't want to stay, I said to your second wife, she can go. Who is Larry Coleswell to make such a comment? Who is he? And that's, you know, and that is why it is important for us to understand that majority of the people who are actually clapping for us, who are fans, fans of us, you know, clapping for us are cheering us on when we are doing something stupid. We should watch it because those people do not really mean well for us. Those people do not mean well for us. This is just a simple message to you and the likes of him out there and everybody out there who comes across this video. The truth about it is this. Larry Cole Sweat, you let me tell you something. Irrespective of all the names he's calling you, calling you a dog, calling you this. Larry Cole Sweat has no respect for himself. He has no respect for you and he has no respect. If you do not understand it that way, some people say because you're too young. I don't think for being 40 is, 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 is that small. If <laughs> at 40, marrying a, 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 two wives, you're not a small boy anymore. You should understand that that thing that Larry Coleswell said, I don't, I, I don't know if you will be sensible enough go, to go back to him and tell him, sir, in as much as I respect you, that you respect me, I don't think I want you to retract that comment you said that made about my wife. And I want you to understand that that long comment you made about my wife does not did not go that way with me it will, it will be it will it will it will put you in a very um it will show some level of respect and for you if you can go back to that man and make him retract that comment that he made because for him to come out openly and be making joke about your family that will tell you how senseless what you did is what you have been doing that will tell you how far it has gone and for somebody to openly tell you that if your wife doesn't want to stay can you imagine how may will be feeling when she sees people like that make such comments publicly about her may my brother if you have ever, ever come across this anybody that comes across this thing honestly speaking that was a very strong direct insult to your wife to your family and to you as a person and Larry Coleswet it's so unfortunate that at your age that you can be such careless with words 
at your age you are the kind of people that people i, I was watching that and honestly speaking i felt like the comment that that man was making in that video was so disgusting talking about you know this one's blushing this one he's talking about how he married with the other one and that one ran away that's you're invariably telling the whole world that you are one of those men who don't have no respect and regard for the sanctity of marriage and you don't even have respect for your wife it's obvious that you have must have done worse than what you did and it's unfortunate that even with your gray hair and your old age you don't have anything to offer the younger the younger generation i mean we you are we people like you are not even the kind of people that i would like my sons to listen to because you don't have anything and that makes me to also say that pete doche is one man that i respect anytime any day both of you look might be of about the same age but since i've known that man i've not i don't see him open his mouth and talk anyhow it's unfortunate that there are elders and there are elders there are old men and there are old men you are one old man in another level of reasoning and when i compare you with the like of pete doche i don't even know where to place you with him pete doche is a man i respect every day i honor him we look at the both of them you know the way they talk you will see the maturity in the way unfortunately they say that gray hair comes with maturity um larry Coswet have only proved to it to me once again that gray hair is not not amount to wisdom or maturity honestly that particular comment he made was 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 <laughs> i mean he was so disappointing to have come from a man like him of course i don't know him personally but that tells a lot about the kind of person and the kind of person that he is and the kind of home that he may have created is so unfortunate larry coatsworth i say this to you without any mindset words without any apologies your words were disgraceful the words that came out of your mouth they were disgraceful they were insulting and on behalf of i want to i want to you know like i said before if, whether you understand it or not that was a direct insult to him and you don't blame them because you brought your 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 family you brought you 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 decided to insult and disgrace the woman that has been there with you when you are nothing and you have toiled with labored with suffered with laughed with after for 17 years you brought her open and that is why people can wake up and insult her that way with a wave of hand i tell you if she doesn't accept your 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 adulterous uh, um um a relationship that converted to marriage that she can leave really really that is very very disgraceful that is very very <laughs> disrespectful i'm so sorry may my dear sister that you're going through what you're going through in the hands of the likes of larry cold sweat you and judy and all the rest of them i'm so sorry but it's so unfortunate that we have elderly men like larry cold sweat who cannot think with their head it's so unfortunate anyway that is just how i feel about the whole thing whatever is your comment you can your thought you can do where to leave it at the comment section if you have not subscribed to this channel please do where to subscribe god bless you for watching thank you bye bye